Welcome everyone to the Friday Night Races. Technically late afternoon races, but let's not split hairs. Who will win? Time will tell. More like who will live? Am I right? And the racers are lined up and ready to go. You can smell the excitement in the air. Actually, that was me. Oh, I had right. Mexican for lunch. Sorry about that. Ooh. And they're off. That might be the worst thing I have seen in the history of the races. The pain must be excruciating. Well, lucky for him, his body can no longer send pain signals to his brain. Out of the road! And at the wheel of that scooter from hell is effective shopper, Janet. Uh-oh, there seems to be some kind of fluid leaking out of her engine. Uh, never mind, that's coming out of her. And picking up steam is bike enthusiast Jim, who always finds special time for his son Cody. And if mommy's friend Darren is ever there when you wake up, you tell me, okay? Fresh from the methadone clinic comes local nut job Charles, respectfully known as Wheelchair Guy. Dog luck at me! Coming up from behind is local businessman Steven, author of the self-published audiobook, Everything Happens for a Steven. That's why three online degrees are way more impressive than one normal one. <laughs> Wow, that landscaper Dennis can certainly ride a mower. Well, steering it is another story, am I right? Sorry, the gears on this thing are sticky. Ah! Our legs are gone. Not to mention, I paid for your mom's nursing degree. You're welcome, Carol. It's coming down to the wire, but it's that irresponsible dad, Jim, in first. And a photo finish for second. And it's Hoverboard Guy by a head. How about that? We did it, Cody! Oh, sweet mom! And here to present the winner's trophy is the ruler of this fair land, His Royal Highness, King Harold! Thank ye, good citizens! Morons, actually, but hey, you can't unelect the king, right? Your Highness, there's been some talk that maybe all these spikes and mines around town are just a tad dangerous. Say what you will, but they kept us pretty darn safe during the zombie apocalypse. That never happened. Well, it could, and that's why we're not taking them down. What I meant to say was that I'm going to appoint a special blue ribbon committee to look into it. You know the king's not going to do a thing. We need to do something now so that I can be assured that my son Cody grows up safe. Guys. This is a synergistic opportunity for everyone to throw out some ideas. We could start a land war with China. Anyone else? Break into Take and Pay and loot the place? Hmm, maybe. Or we could start a safety committee. Yeah, yes. man, yeah. right on, yeah. man! All right, gang. First thing we need is a name. Or, as we call it in the business community, a brand. Uh. I was in a band called Side Boob. The Friendship Patrol. Side Boob. Boob. Boob, boob, boob. Uh, Side Boob. Guys, I got it. Defensive Education Awareness Team and Health Society. Uh, Des? Yeah, I'd do the word jumble. Oh, I didn't realize. Deaths! 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 But we just don't have the resources to remove all these dangerous devices. Instead of removing dangers, how about we just make signs pointing them out? We could do that. Let's do that! I saw a lot of heart out there. Yeah, well, I saw some actual hearts out there. Slipped on one. Went down. Well, I guess you could call that a rousing success. Nothing saves lives like deaths. Right, Cody? 